Le Royaume-Uni a désormais un nouveau roi, Charles III. Il a été officiellement proclamé ce samedi 10 septembre. Dans les rues de Londres, on a voulu savoir ce que les Britanniques pensaient de lui. I think that he'd make a great king. He's born to be king and he'd make a great king, yes. I think he's a great person. I think that he's ready for the position and listening to his speech today, I yeah. think that, yeah, he's going to do very great. Yeah. You know, I think I think he had an opportunity uh, to be taken for uh, and led by a queen that was very uh, consistent and very uh, strong in her leadership. So I think he will do very well. Charles III se retrouve désormais propulsé à la tête d'un royaume en perte de vitesse, fragilisé par le Brexit et qui doit faire face à un contexte économique très difficile. I think these are global crises, it's happening everywhere in the world, but I think the strong leadership across the world that is not only in the UK that I think will they will be able to see it through in the next coming years or so. Yeah. Well, to really, you know, I don't really know enough about politics to get into that side of it, you know, government is new government in isn't there, so hopefully they'll help the people. Of the UK. You know, the Queen was important for encouraging politicians to do the right thing, for giving the country a sense of national identity, for, uh, you know, really bringing the country together. And it, the King has been handed that legacy and is taking it up now, and it's important to keep up all the traditions that were passed down from the old Queen. Le Royaume-Uni rentre dans une période de deuil national d'une dizaine de jours. La date du 19 septembre est avancée pour les funérailles de la reine Elisabeth II, même si rien n'a été confirmé pour le moment.